I'm going to go down. Shark, I want to go back to you. Coming into this fight, you've said that Errol Spence, his style has not evolved. Why do you say that? I said that Errol Spence came out of the amateur game with a professional style. He has improved as a fighter, but his style was, uh, was already a pro prolific style, even as an amateur. I think that you might be trying to start something. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I, I don't need you. You guys are doing a good job up here. Uh, I'm just saying, I said that his, when I, pardon me, pardon when I said that his, his fighting style had not evolved is because he ha had already, he already has and always, always had a professional style. And it has improved, but it has not evolved. I think that Fair enough. there is a difference there. Misinterpretation, I yeah, my bad. stand corrected. <laughs> Errol, some might argue that you haven't faced a lot of adversity. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like you've won 135 rounds out of 153 of the judges' scorecards. So how does one prepare for plan B, C, D, and E if they haven't necessarily had to pull them out of their hat yet? Um, I have. It's all about adjustments. I make adjustments fast in the ring. Um, the Kel Brook fight was hard. I made a lot of adjustments in that fight. A lot of people thought I couldn't go to a round. They thought I had limited, which I did have limited experience, but they thought it was going to help Kel Brook out, and they seen that that didn't help him out at all. So, you know, they say I don't have plan B, C, or D, but I can adjust, I can evolve, and I can switch to whatever style my opponent goes to, and you will see Saturday night, if it comes to that. Sean, I have to go here because the last time you fought, you stepped on the scale and we <laughs> had to have a barber on standby. I can't wait to get on the scale this time. Get, yeah. that, get that out of the way. Yeah. yeah, so you're feeling good. What do you weigh right now? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I weigh right now, but I will tell you that this is the best camp I've ever had. Nutrition, nutrition, everything has been spot on. We have uh, a protocol and right now I'm ahead of the schedule and that's where I plan to stay. Once we get to Friday, I plan to be eating Friday morning. Ooh. All right. How about you? I'm on wait, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I don't have no tricks. I don't have strength condition training. I get mine out of the mud. Straight hard work and dedication. I'm gonna say we're ready to go. Y'all see me before camp, everybody comes fat boy, this and that, but I never miss weight. I'm always on weight, I'm always professional. So you definitely gonna see me on weight, ripped and ready to fight. I'm actually look better than I did with the Garcia fight because I didn't do any strength conditioning in that camp, but I've been doing a little bit this camp. Sean, let's talk about. Does he have strength conditioning or not? Uh, well, do we do it or do we don't? I think he does. I saw it on fight camp. You gotta, so you gotta say I think he do. I think he do. <laughs> I think he do. <laughs> Sean. Uh, Coming into this fight, you've said you're in great shape. Yeah. You plan to be aggressive. Yeah. You plan, plan to be relentless. Mm -hmm. But they've they've kind of called you and not just Errol Spence's camp, but you have this reputation out there of being a dirty boxer. Yeah. Are you a dirty boxer? I'm not a dirty boxer. You Why do you think you get that rap? Uh, because I'm aggressive and I'm strong. And guys can't handle it. Um, there are things that happen on that go on in the ring and they happen and you just gotta move with it. And uh, you know, I'm I'm always prepared to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Um, whether that's misconstrued or or, or painted, uh, the pictures painted different or whatever. Uh, you can't take away two belts without one. You can't take away everything that I've done as a professional fighter and even everything that I've done as an amateur fighter. So, with the background that I have as an amateur fighter and and, and being as as seasoned as I, as I am as a professional, you don't get that far being dirty. And nobody up until a couple weeks or months ago, whenever he first said it, has ever called me dirty. Everybody yeah, know you dirty, man. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong. That's your style. There's nothing hey, wrong with you. Whatever hey, it takes, know what they say. Whatever it takes to win, that's what you Watch out. Whatever it takes to win, that's what you said, right? Watch out. With that said, Errol, how do you win on Saturday night? Just doing what I've been doing. Whenever I hold it. Hold it? You never held before. Whenever I am. What you gonna do? Answer the question. I didn't say that. I didn't say nothing. You said it. Somebody said don't win. How do you Somebody win on Saturday? Well, it wasn't me. My question was, how you gonna win on Saturday night? Just doing what I've been doing. Man. Winning domination, dominating fashion. Period. I'm tired. That's all. Sean. 
He has been dominant. He has not fought Showtime Sean Porter. He has not fought anyone like me. Man, I'm just different. Your last three couldn't, fights couldn't have been. find nobody to train man, with like me. Your last three fights have been close. What are you talking about? You haven't been dominant. Well, history will be made on Saturday night.